President Trump is rolling back another Obama-era EPA policy, and the results will be cripplingly disastrous. So let me show you what The Hill says about this. This is the report from this week. And then I'll get into what, what the original EPA moves from Obama, what they were going to do. So you'll get the full context as to just how disastrous this is. And again, this is not context you're going to get in mainstream media by any stretch of the imagination. They would never, you know, do their job and do the proper homework to give you this information. They're too busy going after Trump for, like, the segment we just covered with uh, Brooke Baldwin. For Literally, she went after him for using mean words, for calling people names. That was the whole segment. Well, here's what an anti-Trump segment should look like based on the facts and based on the policies. So here's what they're doing. Trump is planning to introduce a proposal that would allow states to establish emission standards for coal-fired power plants rather than expediting their elimination. The move, which marks a significant reversal of a key Obama-era policy, is expected to result in the re release of at least 12 times the amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere over the next 10 years compared to the amount projected under the former President Obama's clean power plan in the same time the Washington Post reported. The move comes amid multiple warnings from scientists that failing to reduce carbon emissions will have dire consequences for the climate. Two administration officials told the president that Trump could announce the policy change as soon as Tuesday during a visit to West Virginia, where the president has vowed to bring back coal-dependent jobs. Okay. So, right off the bat here, there's the obvious point of, oh, shit. So we pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement, which is a disaster for the world, not just the U.S., the world... So, and now he's getting rid of the, whatever important EPA rules Obama put in place that would impact the climate in a positive way. So that's a disaster. Now, let me tell you what these Obama regulations actually did, and you'll see how terrible this is. So this is from 2014 when these new rules were released. Back then they were new rules. Natural Resources Defense Council's plan would drop emission standard emissions, excuse me, by 20 to 30 percent by 2020 from 2012 standards, meaning roughly 1.4 billion tons of CO2 at the most. NRDC estimated furthermore that the $21 billion initial cost would be paid back twofold by $51 billion in public health benefits and avoided climate impacts by 2020. EPA estimates the EPA estimates that by 2030, the rule will yield net climate and health benefits of $48 billion to $82 billion. So do you understand that? What they're saying is, for the cost of these regulations up front, it pays off way more later because, uh, for example, you're going to have public health benefits. So not as many people getting sick because the air is literally dirty and poisoned later on, to the, to the extent that it'll save 48 to $82 billion. Okay, Trump looked at that. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of those regulations. And now, again, this is from 2014, quote, In the rule filed on Monday, the EPA uh, proposed state-specific rate-based goals for carbon dioxide emissions from the power sector, as well as guidelines for states to follow in developing plans to achieve the state-specific goals. This has additional benefits beyond greenhouse gas emission reduction, dropping pollution that causes soot and smog by 25% by 2030, according to an EPA fact sheet. The EPA also said it would avoid up to 6,600 premature deaths and 150,000 asthma attacks in children. When you lower CO2 emissions from coal-fired power plants, you also lower the emissions of other pollutants like nitrogen oxides, particul particulate matter, mercury, and sulfur dioxide. So, as a direct result of scrapping these regulations, which is what Trump is doing, 150,000 more asthma attacks in children will happen, and there will be 6,600 more premature deaths. Because Obama's rules drop pollution that causes soot and smog by 25%. 
by 2030. Let me explain this in as simple a way as possible. Both political parties are bought by industries. Some, sometimes they share the donors and share the industries that buy them, like Wall Street, for example. Other times, there are special interests that are particular to, to different parties, respective parties. The Democrats are more likely to get unions, for example, and, and trial lawyers being donors to them. Republicans don't really get them. But Republicans, one of the industries that are overwhelmingly go to them that do not go to Democrats, for example, the NRA, and, and also oil, the oil industry, the fossil fuel industry. So the Democrats don't really take o that much money from oil and uh and the NRA, and, and gun manufacturers. So, what you see here is, the fossil fuel industry is getting what all of those uh, campaign contributions to Republicans paid for. All that money that they gave them when they ran their campaigns, and then they got elected, this is the payback. The payback is, hey, we don't like these regulations because it cuts into our profit margin in the short run. So... Scrap these regulations that will, without question, clean up the air, reduce asthma attacks, reduce premature death, limit smog and soot. We will, we literally are paying to have the ability to make more money and in turn be, create way more pollution and destroy the environment. And that's the side the Republicans are on. It's not a question. That's not conjecture. That's a fact. So, now that you know that reality, and the crazy thing is, no, it's... Mainstream media will not tell you this. I'm the one that's telling you this. They're not going to give you this the, the details that I just gave you. But now you know the direct impact that getting rid of these EPA rules is going to have, and it is disastrous for the American people.